So let's see how simple it is to work if it's just like any old timing light or if there's anything special about it. Hooking up a timing light, an inductive timing light, uses this clamp to sense the uh, current passing through the plug wire. You put it on the number one plug, just because that's what everything is referenced from. And then you gotta ground it and get power to it. Well, normally you just clamp these to your battery. We don't have that. So I'm just gonna ground it to the alternator bracket and then take this, you know, maybe right off the back of the alternator. And what do we got? Let's see here, we got uh, numbers. So there's two and four stroke, uh, oh, RPM and timing and advance. Okay. So we're going to shoot for, let's say, oh, let's shoot for 14. I like 14 on this. It's a low compression engine. Needs a little bit more oomph, you know, to get moving. So we're going to shoot for 14 initial and, uh, you know, then we'll see what it likes. You got to look for your timing marks. On a Pontiac, they're cast into the timing cover right there. It's real easy. And they go down to like 12 or something like that. There will be a line cut in your balancer or damper, whichever, whatever kind of setup you got. And uh, that's going to be the line you're looking for. So you probably can't see it or hear me, but right now, that zero and it's bouncing right around 12 degrees. alive. This old Pontiac's got more to give. <laughs>